In this video we are making crochet shoes for your classic 12 inch semi doll. Start off by chaining 9 or making 9 chain stitches. If you are new to crochet I invite you to check out my learn to crochet for beginners video series on YouTube. So we are starting off with our loop here and now we are going to chain 9. It's basically the same process for all my shoe patterns, for all the doll sizes, just with different amounts of stitches. <laughs> so here we are, and in the first round we're starting in the second chain from the chain stitch from the hook with a half double crochet, and now we're going to make one half double crochet each into the next seven stitches. Now we're going to make six half double crochets into the next stitch. And now that we're done with the six half double crochets into the one stitch, we can pull on the tail, the yarn tail and make the stitch a little bit smaller and now we're going to make one half double crochet each into the next seven stitches again. And as you can see I'm working the yarn tail into the shoe sole here. And once we're done with our half double crochets into the next seven stitches, we're going to make five half double crochets into the next stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. And once we're done with that, we're going to close the round with a slip stitch. And in the next round we are going to start with one chain stitch and then we're going to make one half double crochet each into the next seven stitches again. And now we can make two half double crochets each into the next six stitches. So we're making two half double crochets into the same stitch for the next six stitches. That's the second one and the third one and the fourth one. and sixth. And once we're done with that we're making one half double crochet each into the next seven stitches again.
and after that we're going to make two half double crochets each into the next five stitches. And then we're going to close the round with a slip stitch. And we're starting off the next round with a chain stitch. And then we're only going to work in the back loops. Because we want to make our shoe go upwards instead of making the sole wider and wider. So usually I would pick up the stitch like this, go through these two loops. But now I'm going through the back loop and this is how you can crochet just in the back loop but I prefer to pick up a loop from the previous round as well to make it a little bit more sturdy. I think most people just do the back loop thing but I learned to do it this way so now I think I'm stuck doing it this way forever and ever. <laughs> but please do it the way you prefer it. I'm going to speed up the footage here because I think you know what I'm doing now and if you want to watch it at a bit of a lower speed you can just um, change the settings at the computer I think at the computer you can minimize the speed of the video you can put it to 0.5 to watch the video at half the speed I think We are finishing the round with a slip stitch again. The next round we're going to start off with a chain stitch again and then we're going to make one half double crochet each into every stitch of the round. And I'm going to speed up the footage here again because I think you know what I'm doing here just one half double crochet into every single stitch of the round all the way around
And now we're ending the round with a slip stitch again and starting off the next one with a chain stitch. Now it's going to get a little bit more interesting. So we're starting off with one single crochet into the next four stitches. Three and four. And now we're making one half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to double crochet two together eight times. That's the first time. There we go. Two double crochet together. And we're going to do this eight times. And as with all the other stitches, if you want to have a closer look at them and see them at lower speed and in more detail, you can check out the Learn to Crochet video series on my channel. It's linked down below in the video description as well. So we are decreasing the width now to close the shoe at the top so the little doll foot sits nice and snug inside the shoe. And once we're done with that, we make it one half double crochet into the next stitch. And then one single crochet each into the next four stitches. And then we're closing the round with half double crochets into the remaining stitches of the round. sometimes they slip off <laughs> those stitches and then I start over again. And we're finishing the round with a slip stitch. In the next round we're beginning with a chain stitch again and then we're making one single crochet each into every stitch of the round. This is one of the nice rounds, nice and easy. Don't have to think or count the stitches too much. <laughs> And once we've done a few stitches, I'm going to speed up the footage again a little bit so we don't have this huge video that no one wants to watch and that takes 15 hours to upload. <laughs>
And we are closing the round with a slip stitch again. Here we go. And in the seventh round, we are making the ties for the shoes. So we're chaining 28 stitches. Or making 28 chain stitches. And then we're going to slip stitch all the way back down to the shoe edge. And we have our first tie, first shoe tie done. So here we are at the top and now we can start making slip stitches all the way back down. The first few stitches are a little bit tricky but then once you have a little tail that you can hold on to it's a lot easier. And just make slip stitches all the way back down to the shoe edge. And here we are, almost back at the top edge of the shoe. And once we are there, we're going to make slip stitches into the next 18 stitches along the top edge of the shoe. And then it's time to make the second shoe tie. And here we are, we made our 18 stitches and now we can make 28 chain stitches again. And I'm going to speed this up because we already pros at this, right? Because we just did it before together <laughs> already. And now we can make our slip stitches all the way back down again.
and once we're back at the shoe edge we can just make slip stitches into the remaining stitches of the round And then we're done. Sometimes I make a couple more stitches just because I think it looks nice. <laughs> and now we can cut off our yarn and put it through the last stitch. And then we take our wool needle and hide the yarn in the shoe and cut it off. There we go. Here's our little shoe. And now of course we need another one as well because most dolls I know have two feet. So here we are, we have another little shoe. And thank you so much for working with me, for making this crochet project with me. I hope your dolls appreciate having cute and cuddly shoes on their feet now. And I hope I see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you. Please give me a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Subscribe for more videos. And if you want to support me, head on over to my website and have a look at my patterns. The link for the website is down below in the video description. I'm really grateful to your support. I hope I see you in the next video. Bye.